I've moved on from Bursa and now I'm in a city called Canacolis or Chanacolis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I went out last night and the place was absolutely buzzing. Loads and loads of bars. I didn't realise that the city is a big student area. Lots of students in the city, all out, all drinking. It was very busy. I've come out. It's Sunday today and it's a ghost town. It's literally, it couldn't be any more different. Which I'm surprised at because it is a tourist city. It's very close to the ancient city of Troy. So people come here to then go on to visit Troy. But apparently not on a Sunday. Well, I was heading for a coffee, but I've come across this. Car So let's take a look. It's all very souvenir. -y. Fridge magnets and key rings and Turkish eyes. <laughs> Nothing really of any great interest. The city of Canacales lies on the Dardanelles Strait, which separates Asia, where I am now, from Europe, which is over there. And like in Istanbul, you can get a ferry across. The Dardanelles Strait comes down from the Sea of Marmaris all the way down to the Aegean Sea. Over there is where the Battle of Gallipoli took place during World War I, where the Allies were defeated by the Ottomans. Hundreds of thousand people lost their lives and there are many memorial sites, which is uh, one of the popular tours from Canakales. Similar to the uh, Troy tours, you can see the, this big monument over here, this big sign, and over there there's a big Turkish flag, there's another one over there. I know I'm going to get some Turkish people watching this video, commenting in my poor pronunciation. Is it Kanakales? Is it Kanakalis? Is it Chanukalis? Is it Chanukales? This is the place to come if you want some corn. Look at this. It's just corn stand after corn stand. You may know about the ancient city of Troy through the 2004 movie starring Brad Pitt. The big wooden horse that was used in that movie was donated to the city by the director. And it's right here. Over here we have a scaled down version of the ancient city. For many years people thought that the uh, the ancient city of Troy was just a myth, was just a story, until they actually found the ruins and they excavated it. And not only did they find the ruins of one city, but they actually found the ruins of nine cities, all built on top of each other. How crazy is that? I think I should go and see Troy, shouldn't I, really? It's trying to find any information on how to get anywhere in uh, Turkey using public transport is pretty much impossible. Well, I appear to have entered a naval museum. So this was actually built in Germany in the 1930s and was used by the Turkish Navy until 2015 where it was built here, has been here ever since. Don't like these stairs though. I actually only came down here to look at the castle. Well, I didn't know that there was this uh, huge museum attached to it. This is the Kale Fortress. On the Asian side of the strait we have the Chimenlik Fortress and on the opposite side we have the Kalitbahia Fortress. 
They're both built at the same time on the narrowest part of the strait. Okay. Don't know if you can make this out, but this side of the fortress used to be walled like the other side. But then, uh, as the walls deteriorated, they actually turned it uh, into bastions. And so, from the actual street, it just looks like a hill. You can see the, uh, the grass on top there. So, it doesn't actually look like a fortress, it just looks like a hill. Very clever. My second day in Kanakala. It's quite early, it's about just after 10, and I am actually going to try and make my way to the ancient city of Troy. Now, I had a couple of places saved on Google Maps where to get the bus, and I've just asked the guy at the hotel, and he's pointed me off in the direction of one of the places that I had saved. So, hopefully, this should be straightforward. I just need to basically walk to the end of the street turn left and catch a bus under the bridge sounds a bit odd I've reached the bridge and he did say under the bridge and they do appear to be buses under the bridge so now I've just got to find a bus that will take me to Troy or the actual nearby village which is called let me just have a look Tev Tevfik Oh, that's right. I'm really in the small town in Turkey now. Bloody hell. Just ahead of me is the Troya Museum. So I'm going to go there first and uh, get to know a little bit of the history and then make my way to the side. Now the buses back have been told uh, 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. It's just gone, well it's 10 past 12 now, so I'm not going to make the 1 o'clock one. So that means I've got 3 hours. I have no idea how long any of this will take. There doesn't appear to be anywhere to go and sit and have a drink or anything like that in this little town. So I'm not sure what I'll end up doing. Maybe three hours will be a perfect amount of time. I actually don't know where the bus leaves from as well. And it's certainly too far to walk back to uh, Chanakale, or Chanakale, whatever it's called. Is it even open? A few cars in there, so I'm presuming it's open. Well, I've got my ticket, combined ticket, 100 lira. So just over five pounds. That gets me in the museum and the archeological site itself, which apparently is 700 meters walk away. So it's not too far about 10 minutes or so so here we are then the museum of Troya this shows the layers of Troy because there are actually uh, nine cities in the uh, archaeological site back in the day new settlements were built on top of old settlements this is the stele with a human face that welcomed you into the ancient city of Troy 3000 years BC this shows the diet of the first residents of Troy They have the chickpeas, beans, lentils, peas, barley, spelt, seafood as well. Beef, sheep, goat, rabbits, deer, boar and wild birds. And they would cook them on vessels like this. This one here 
is dated 3000 years BC. Here are all pictures of uh, artifacts that have been found during excavations in the late 19th century that were taken out of the country to Greece and then ended up in Berlin and then were lost and then found again in Moscow. They'd been looted at the end of World War II. So all these pieces here are all on display in Moscow. Well that's the Troy Museum done. It's a great museum. Some of the stuff they've got in there is incredible to think that it's like nearly 5,000 years old. So now all I have to do is make my way to the actual Troy excavation site. I was just replacing my battery in my GoPro and I spotted a couple of dogs just lazing around in the sun over there and then I turned around and there was one right next to me in front of me. There's another one here. If you are coming to Troy and you're doing it independently like I have done then I recommend the museum first give you the background and the history and then when you come out of the museum you turn left and it's just a straight road for about seven or eight minutes and it brings you to the archaeological site. I'm presuming that this is it. It's very windy as I'm sure you can probably hear. I've just entered the site and the first thing you come across is this Trojan horse which unfortunately looks like you can't actually go in. This is a bit rubbish. I'm not sure why you're not allowed to go in anymore. Yeah it's uh, it's got a plank across the entrance there. Oh. 1975 this one was built so it's not the original. <laughs> I'm actually old, older than this thing. Not got time to watch the whole film. I'm presuming this is the one with Brad Pitt, yep. So this is the North East Bastion from Troy 6. So there were five settlements underneath this. And this was excavated in 1894. This is the East Wall of Troy 6. And it looks like we can explore around there. The squirrels of Troy. This is the remains of the fortification wall of Troy 1 which was built around 2920 years BC. And here you can see the various levels of Troy. Got level 2 there, level 3, level 4, up to level 9 up here. The settlements were just rebuilt over time on top of each other. This is the ramp which would lead into the citadel of Troy 2. And this is the palace house from Troy 6. And here, this is the uh, wall 27 metres long. And the wall here, we can only see the surface of the wall, which would have been about 5 metres. And this is the surface. This is the sanctuary, and this in the middle is a marble altar. This was from Troy 8 to Troy 9. As you've probably worked out by now, I know absolutely nothing about Troy. 
I'm, the little bits of information I've given you is basically what's on the notice boards. Just over here is the old Roman baths, which would be located just on the edge of the marketplace. So this would have been a very busy area. And over here we have the Odeon, where concerts and plays would take place. Well, that's Troy done. So now I'm back in the village of Tevvikai and I've got to find my bus. I've got plenty of time, I've got about an hour, just under an hour. But I've no idea where the bus comes from. So if I can't find it, I mean obviously I'm not going to see it because it's not here yet. But if I can't find anything that looks like a bus stop, then I'm just going to go to the road where he dropped me off and just hang around there. Right, well, I've just asked a guy and he went into a shop and uh, apparently the bus leaves from here. There is a bus there already. Oh, thanks, let's have a walk up. It's very windy, so I have to apologise for the audio. I'm literally speaking straight into my GoPro, so hopefully you can hear me and I'm not actually too loud. Anyway, so to get back to... Now he pronounced it completely different. Chenokali. Chenokali. Um, basically you come to this road and where this sign is here about uh, Homer, the great poet, this is where the bus leaves from. Apparently, according to the guy in that cafe over there, it may even well be this bus. But what time is it? I've got a while to wait. 45 minutes. Uh, there's nothing else to do apart from sit and wait. Just been into a little shop. Bought myself a Maximus loading. I got a clue what that is. Looks like it's got some kind of toffee and nuts and maybe some nugget in there or something. Caramel, caramel nougat bar, caramel nugget bar. Three lira. About fifteen pence. <laughs> stood there for 40 minutes and the bus pulled up about 100 metres away so I ran down and then another bus pulled up what I thought was a bus which looked more like the one I took to get here so I flagged him down and that just turned out to be a, a van but anyway I got this bus and this is going back to Chenacula I think I'm saying it right there Chenacula not can you lock it, whatever I've been saying